there's been three times I think that in the last like four weeks that five guys have gone for 40 or more. Yeah. Um, what do you make of all this, all, all this, all these incredible performances right now? I mean, it's it's incredible to watch. You know, just as a fan of the game, I think um, we're in a transition period. I'm gonna use that word a lot today, but I think that uh, just you know that old guard of the greats that have dominated the last 15, 10, 20 years, you know, the LeBrons, the KDs, the Stephs, those guys are still playing at an incredibly high level, but we also have a whole new wave of new guys that are stepping up and, and putting numbers on the board. And also the game is changing too. Like the NBA is behind a lot of this as well, you know, just with the rule changes and um, trying to appease you know the fan base and and make it more watchable so i mean i'm you know league pass every night 140 130 you know 150 somebody had the other day uh i think the game is just changing really fast and um you know it's, it's fun to watch take up uh, take pascal at msg out of it because it's sort of an obvious one is there yeah. another one of these recent sort of crazy games that you just watch as a fan and you just kind of shook your head at all of lucas are are crazy uh, I can't believe nobody's double him. I mean, like, if you don't double him, it's 50. You know, it's, like, guaranteed. If you don't double him, it's... I mean, I think his last five is, like, 50, 50, 40, 37, and it's all triple doubles. So it's, like, those I, I'm scratching my head watching them, watching the team play single coverage the whole night. Um, Donovan Mitchell's last night was, you know, obviously incredible. Uh, but, yeah, those, those ones when it's like you need every play, you need every bucket is down to the wire, it's overtime. Like, those are the ones that, you know, you're, you're locked into. And just the shot making in this league is, you know, at an all-time high. Luka has been blitzed or double teamed more than any other player. Yeah. Um, I think in pick and roll, Devin Booker, I don't know the numbers now, but until Devin Booker right. got hurt, he was second. And Giannis, I think, has faced the most double team or the second most double teams. Um you guys, by the way, speaking of blitzing Luca, yeah. <laughs> are are one of two teams this year to blitz him fifteen or more times in a game. Yeah, which no uh, no other player has been blitzed fifteen or more times in a game this right. year. And I I do think like last night I was watching the Houston game. Going into that game, they'd already played twice. Houston in two games had blitzed him three times in pick and roll. I think some of this is. This is going to sound a little weird coming from me because I'm such an analytics guy. But some of this is teams looking at the analytics and saying, all right, when we do this coverage, our points per possession is this. When we do this coverage, no doubt. it's this. So let's go with this. Right. But against great players, to me, you have to constantly mix up what the coverage is. Absolutely. Or, to your point, blitz the fuck out of them yeah. and just make someone else beat you. Yeah, absolutely. I don't think any of these guys you can give a steady diet of one thing, no matter what it is, whether it's doubling or not. I think at some point in the night, they should see a double or another guy or three guys just to change the rhythm. And, you know, uh, we were watching it. It's, it's kind of like, you know, the old days where you would just, you know, show up and it would say, okay, we got Kobe tonight, you know, just make it hard on them and don't let nobody else score. That's kind of what is, is going on now is like let one guy go off and then try to stay home on everybody else. So some teams have that philosophy. Obviously, that's not one of ours. We're probably a little drastic on the other end where, you know, we might double you on a jump ball uh, to start <laughs> the game. So uh, we, we try a lot of different things. I think it, um you know, it keeps you Honest, it keeps you guessing, but um, it's hard to make some of these guys uncomfortable. You got to be creative. As always, thank you for listening to the show. Please subscribe on YouTube, Spotify, Apple, Wondery, wherever you listen to your podcast. Uh, we appreciate you guys. 